Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, everything spicy and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. I had to unmute me. Hey, everyone. <laughs> How are we doing? It is, what, what, what day of the week is, I mean, my week is all screwed up. If, if Monday was Memorial Day, Tuesday we were at Tuesday. This is Wednesday. Hey, everyone, it is Wednesday, and we, it's hump day, hump. Although our hump has been moved, someone moved our hump. Now our hump is, like, not in the middle of the week. It's, like, at the beginning of the week. So if you got your normal days off, everything's cool. If you got Saturday, so if you're like me and you got to work, you know, through Sunday, don't have to work Sunday, but you got to work, then it's not your home day. So whatever it is, glad that you guys all decided to come and hang out with us tonight. Uh, we will be reviewing a hot sauce. I am not telling you what it is until the time comes, but we will be reviewing a hot sauce um, tonight. So, um, so I do want to thank everyone that is here. If you have not shared it out, please, please share us out. If you've not hit the thumbs up, uh, analytics, algorithms, all those things that, you know, help make the channels channels successful, all those things help. So make sure you hit, click on the thumbs up and share us out. All right. We are going to go to the chat and we are going to say hi to everyone that's in the chat. We will start off with Donald Morris. What's up, Donald? In the Berg, Morris. What's up, Donald? Good to see you. Chrissy with an asterisk. How you doing, Chrissy? Fantastic. Good to see you. Kathy gone. Hugs and kisses to Kathy Gahan. How you doing? Good to see you. Chrysler Imperial H is in the house. What's up, Chrysler Imperial H? Good to see you, my friend. Daniel Dan Skofich. How you doing, Dan? Good to see you. We got Joe W. Life Adventures in the house. What's up, Joe W.? Good to see you, my friend. We got Harry. 
the metal music maniac in the house. What's up, Harry? How you doing? The NDT show. That is Nathan and Nathaniel. How you doing, man? Good to see you. And then we got Jenny. Oh, 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 books and vlogs. What's up, Jenny? Good to see you, Jenny. <laughs> I got a giggle out of someone in the basement. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go through. We got crazy Ann's here. Yep, she's hanging out down in the basement with some other some other fine folks that we got down in the basement. Very, very good. Um, Wonders of the Wild. Hmm. Everything spicy. Wonders of the Wild. That could be that'd be a that could be a crazy collaboration. Wonders of the Wild and spicy stuff. Hmm. Mick Tubis is in the house. What's up, Mick Tubis? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Rebecca. Felter in the house. What's up, Rebecca? Good to see you, girl. Samantha Lee Originals is here. If you have not checked out Samantha Lee, if you've not subscribed to her channel, if you have not heard her daily Sunday or daily, her weekly Sunday song, go check it out. She puts a lot of work into that stuff, man. Oh, geez, we'll be there. It all jumped. What? Stream fire and ice. Cindy's in the house. What's up, Cindy? Good to see you. We got Tim. From Kirk Whipper Voyage Center in the house. If I miss somebody, it's because my computer jumped, so I apologize. My computer didn't jump. My uh, my stream yard jumped. Anyways, uh, la 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 la. I don't, I don't know why am I seeing. I don't know. JCT is in the house. What's up, JCT? We got CB Uncle Bees. What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. We got Luther the Great Neil in the house. What's up, Neil? Good to see you. Going backwards again, just because I feel like a stupid thing. All right, we got to get everybody here. Da, 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 Looks like we're getting everybody. My brother from another mother from my Tennessee. Then, anyways, Saucy Shane is in the house. What's up, Saucy Shane? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, let's see. We we're JDS Flying Canuck. Eh? Ah, ah, you like them boys? What's up? You have crazy Canuck. Good to see you. Mayberry, you 316. Hopefully, he's home for work now. Putting a putting a good shine on them cars. Good to see you, man. Oh, uh, let's see who else have we got in here. Are we getting caught up? We got Raven, the Blackbird is in the house. What's up? How you doing, Raffle? Raffle Scrapple, Raffle, Raffle Scrapper. Got to got to remember. Mike told me I have tried to remember. It's like a raffle, like a ticket raffle. It's a Raffle Scrapper. That's how you're supposed to say it. At least that's how he told me to say it. Now he may have told me how to say it screwed up on purpose, but. That's how that's that's how I've been told it, you pronounce it. So good to see you, Raffle, Raffle, Raffle. Scott K is in the house. What's up, Scott K? Good to see you, sir. Uh, we are still going through Eric Garcia coming hanging out with us poor people tonight. Good to see you, Eric Garcia. Holy mackerel! So we have shouted out everybody in the chat, and if I missed you, I apologize. If I see your name pop up and I don't think I've shouted you out. I shout you out again. Not a problem. I like to make sure everybody knows who's come in to join us tonight. We are going to start with our intros and bring some of our friends up out of the basement. So I'm not up here alone because I get lonely up here at times. It's just, you know, I don't like being up here by myself. This sounds silly, doesn't it? That's silly. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Anyways, we first in, first up. Here we go. I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm wet. wet, 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 wet. Hello, Crazy Ann. Howdy. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. <laughs> you? Oh, another crazy day, you know. Hey, it's, yeah. it's nice to be back on Wednesday. I really love supporting Cy on Wednesday nights now that that's just one day a week. But I always felt like, you know, Mondays and Wednesdays were just a good, good fit for me. And as, soon as you can see, we got 31 people in the house. So it seems like it's good for everyone else, too. So good to see everyone. Now, if I would just quit running my lips, we'll bring up our next friend. The word for uncle is... Oji-san. Uh, Oji-san. Oji-san. Now you try it. What's up, Oji-san? How you doing? Oji-san. Oji-san. What's up, Jimmy? Come on, Marcelo. Oh, get him, Marcelo. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, how you doing, man? You're muted, Jimmy. Oh, man, that was such an energetic hello, too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this great introduction, we come up to 
Oh, hello, everybody <laughs> in the chat. Uh, how you doing tonight, Jimmy? I'm good. I'm in my new worldwide headquarters of the of Ogisan's world tonight. So yeah, we're gonna bring everybody up here, and then we're gonna ask for a little tour. All right, all right. Just going to. Just, just gotta. Just gotta. Anna, Elsa, Christoph, Sven, Samantha. <laughs> I don't even know it's Samantha. Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. Samantha. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. <laughs> How you doing? I'm oh, looking at <laughs> you. Doing good. You, you, you get to get this weird feeling that you're missing something in your intros. Where is, oh my gosh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. No, oh, man, you no, no. You don't have. Uh... I'm. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, there it is. You know, what throws me off is it's got um Joe, w, Joe Weymouth's face on it. Yeah. Um, but but the, the but the words at the bottom clearly say, "Cindy's balls intro." Hi, I'm Groovy Love is Grown Up, and we'll be right back to the stream after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Cindy's Balls. Cindy's Balls are so delicious. They're chocolatey, they're spicy, and they've been sampled around the nation, and everybody is trying to get their hands on Cindy's Balls. Now, if you don't have to take my word for it, why don't you listen to Joe's testimonial right here, and let's see what he thinks about it. Cindy's balls are divine. There you go, Joe. So even Joe thinks they're delicious. So why don't you go ahead and look up Cindy, give her a call, shoot her a message, and let's get Cindy's balls Cindy's balls. Put them in your mouth. Yeah. You know we love you, Cindy. You know we love you, Cindy. I like how the little voice, the little voice cracks during that. It's funny. <laughs> you know we love you, Cindy. I have, I haven't seen that one in a while. What's up, Kenneth? Yeah, really? I see. Mine doesn't have the translation from Wookie into actual real words. So. Hey, JCT. Uh, so, so how is everyone, is, is everyone, you know, everyone getting through the week? Everyone doing yeah. good? If it was I, just, well, I know you guys, I know you guys were probably up late last night. It is, it, is, it is rain for like three weeks. I am so sick of the rain right now. Yeah. We've gotten a little rain here today. It was kind of cloudy most of the day, and then like partway through the day, it kind of, nothing really downpour. But just uh, just enough to keep things wet. Well, of course, I sent that Facebook post out there, you know, the re-asphalt and uh, the lot where I work. And you can see all the steam coming up off of the fresh asphalt. So, what's up, j Dog? How you doing, man? Oh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys all up last. Because I went, what did I go to bed? I think it was a little after, must have been around 11.30, 11.45, I finally went to bed. Yeah, I, I kind of got 86 to about, I don't know, 1 o'clock in the morning, something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's bad. It's bad when my daughter is sending you videos telling you go to bed. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I do appreciate it because I needed to go to bed. So You had, you had a couple pops last night, did you? I, I had a couple. Yeah, a couple. You ought to talk to that bartender. I was getting into those uh, 118 proof whiskeys and stuff. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. That'll do it. <laughs> that definitely. So, um, Ojisan mm -hmm. is in new surroundings tonight. Yep. And if he doesn't mind, I'm going to make him big so we can kind of get a lay of the land. All righty. So, uh, so this is my little room here. I got, I got a whole bunch of my artwork on the wall. Then there's all the familiar cars and toys and stuff like that. We all, we've all seen those a million times. Uh, but then I went ahead and brought my, I don't know if it's a good idea or bad idea, but I brought all my beer bad. and alcohol in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> all my swords are hanging up. And then uh, I got my little art studio right over there. And as you can see, mm -hmm. I've already been painting tonight. So Very cool. 
Well, now, well, now it's kind of like your survivor survival shelter, right? No, no. If the zombies come, you lock that door, and you can at least drink yourself to death. I, I feel bad for any zombie that comes in this room because I, I got all those swords piled up. <laughs> yeah, we know how you are with swords when you are drunk. <laughs> you know? I still got I still got a mark on my side. What's up, Steven? Yeah. Uh, well, you, you, get, you get a little um, careless one night. I well, no, it. I was, I was, I had a sword, and everybody's like, "Put the sword up." So I was like, "All right." So I went to put the sword back up on my sword rack, and on my floor because it's right by my little clothes rack. One of my coat hangers had fallen off, and it's one of those plastic ones. And a coat hanger on linoleum floor, when you're drunk, it's just like a roller skate. And so it sent me flying backwards when I when I was reaching up. And I had my, my arm up like this, so I hit exactly on my rib on the corner of my night table Ooh. and just all the way to the floor with it. But oh. I didn't drop the sword. I didn't get cut. So. And that would have that have been like in one of those cartoons where the sword goes flying up in the air and then comes down and like lands between your legs. <laughs> it would have been a fitting ending for me, but no, not that night. <laughs> he got drunk and fell on a sword. Yeah, oh. hey, that makes sense. That's what everybody'd say. <laughs> I'm gonna do this with us. <laughs> oh, no, I I had a pair of uh, I had a long katana, mm -hmm. and then a shorter one that matched, but they weren't anything sharp. They were more decorative. I got them uh, back when I was in Okinawa back in the '80s. Sent them home to my mom and dad. You know, just kind of as a little gift. And of course, it doesn't match their decor, so they saved them for me. So when we when I got home from the military, they gave them back to me, and then um, my boys have wound up with them. So where they're at now, I couldn't tell you. I left I left all my super sharp high carbon steel blades in the other room, so I'm not Mark. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> You're not that dumb. Yeah. <laughs> McTuba says at least you would have went out with honor. That's right. Would have been an honorable drunken death. <laughs> uh, what's up, Ruff? Raffle? That was, I was making Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. So soon. Oh. So, yeah. Um, so, tonight. I was trying to think, what would I do? And I started thinking about different challenges and stuff. And then I started thinking about, yeah, Thursday's a long day. If I don't get a good, a decent night's sleep tonight for doing a challenge, I'll hate myself all day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I decided instead of doing that, that we would do a sauce review. Now, as you guys can see, you know, I got a bunch of different sauces back there. I've got a bunch of sauces I haven't opened up. But I don't want to do anything from the Jeff Dunham collection. I want I want to I want to try to do those as standalone videos. Just try to put something together. That's why I brought Sty with me. Um, I thought maybe he'd come out here and um, he grab him here for a second. You guys haven't seen it's two point oh in a while. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I figured, you know, if we couldn't have Sty on a Wednesday night, we could at least we'd have Sty 2.0, right? With a white cap? Yeah, we put a white cap on him. The, um, you know, I figured, you know, Sty's a big uh, supporter of the Second Amendment. So I figured, you know, hey, you know, white cap, white beard, sunglasses, you know, look good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, huh. it is after Memorial Day, so he can wear white. Oh, he right? can. Yeah. You just don't see him style in a white cap before. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no. No, everything camouflaged for him, right? Or mm -hmm. or a red bandana. I think you've worn the red bandana before, right? Or is that just or is that just two point oh? Two point oh. He always just looks at me like I'm crazy or something. <laughs> no <Nope> fit. <laughs> So, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna set him down because obviously I can't review a sauce and hold on to Sty's big stick at the same time. Oh, oh, well, 
Okay. Let those take I, didn't, down. I didn't need to hear that about holding on to his big stick. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I think you got to charge extra for that. Right? <laughs> Let's take him down here for right now. Oh. So. I don't know that I definitely need this up here, but I'm going to put this up here for now. Make this a little bit bigger here. There's the mouse. Oh. <laughs> put you guys off to the side just for a moment here. Hmm. All right. So some months ago, uh, I wrote to a sauce company um, about doing some reviews, and they were nice enough to send me a couple of their uh, sauces that I could review. And I thought, well, which one should I review? They, they, there's a, there, they sent me three. Thinking, which one should I review? Should I start with something? They have a Scotch bonnet one. They had a habanero one. I thought, you know what? You got to go with the hottest one, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's what we, yeah. So what I did, this is from a company called Spicy Shark. Mm. And this is their Hamagata sauce. So that apparently has something to do with some kind of hammerhead shark. Oh um, the name for it, I'm not familiar with it, but I know some people out there maybe are familiar with this. Um, obviously, Spicy Shark is a an American company. Uh, this is born in New Orleans. So if you're from New Orleans or around that area, uh, you know that people from New Orleans love their spicy stuff. Matter of fact, right on here it says, goes great with shrimp, crawfish, gumbo, Jambalaya, whole boys, dirty rice, meat, poultry tacos, tempeh, tempeh, and anything need of flavor and heat. And of course, there's your list of ingredients. Your um, your all of your hottest peppers. It actually starts off with like um, scorpion pepper, but as you go further down on the list, you see there's Carolina Reaper in there. There's seven pot. Um, all sorts of your hottest peppers. And of course, they had liquid smoke to it. Now, again, I've never opened this, so I have no idea how hot this is going to be or the flavor um, to expect. Liquid smoke, paprika, I'm trying to think of some, see some of the other, sunflower oil, pineapple juice, um, garlic. Roasted red pepper, got molasses in it. So, but if you look, look, it's a dark sauce. It is a dark, dark sauce. So, usually in the sauce world, the darker it is, the hotter it is, the more concentrated it is. So, let's get off the knife. I don't know what I did with my other one, so we'll use this one today. It's one that scares everybody that I sit here and play with. Yeah. During people's live stream. <laughs> that you're constantly licking. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I, I, I have this nervous tension at times, and you know, I like to play with things where my hands can be seen, as opposed to playing with things where my hands can't be seen. That's bad. <laughs> People start wondering, what the hell is he doing? So, okay. Right. We're gonna give this a good shake. And tuna, you are right. I believe tempa is a fermented soy product, kind of like tofu. Okay. It was T-E-M-P-E-H, tempa. So yeah. never heard of it. Now, if you look at the neck. Uh, Let me look in. It's, it's not a real thin sauce, so it's definitely not a thick sauce. I don't think this will be one of those ones where you're trying to, that first serving, you're trying to shake out of the bottom. So that's good. So, all right, first thing I smell is the garlic. No. The garlic, the onions. I mean, I can smell the Carolina Reaper. Mm -hmm. but a lot of these sauces, you smell the pepper first, and then the garlic, the onions, those things are <laughs> secondary. And the first thing I actually smelled from this was the garlic. So, that's good. I mean, it's going to be hot, but it's still going to have, it's not going to be just hot. So, all right. 
Bem. Mm. So it's got some good heat. You can taste the garlic. Definitely, obviously, if you can smell it, you can taste it. This is a thinner sauce. I'm going to go to a bigger spoon. The little spoon for me, although it hope, it's supposed to keep the purity of not having a metallic taste when you taste the sauce, it just isn't enough. So I can see this is probably on the higher end of the hot sauces that I enjoy heat-wise. Mm -hmm. Right now, I can feel the heat is already climbing. Um, we kind of, with the first little serving, we kind of started off at like a two on my hot heat scale, on my sauce heat scale. Um, and when I started talking about my hot sauce heat scale, Doom for me is like an eight. I just, not a good tasting sauce. It's just really hot. Um, this with the Carolina Reaper, Carolina Reaper, scorpion peppers seem to hit later in the, you get the flavor first and then the heat all comes. So you get that good mouth burn. If you like the good mouth burn. Yeah. Is that one? I will tell you, this is, this is still ramping up. This is, um, with the Reaper and the scorpion and everything in there. Yeah. This is, um. My tongue is right around a four, four and a half. Mm. Probably not as hot as eating a fresh Reaper, but definitely up there on the heat scale. I could see this would be, like they said, the thing they said it would be good on. Now, for me, here in Michigan, we don't have the jambalaya, the crawfish, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but this would be good sauce that you could use on your tacos. I would think you'd have to probably go light with it. I actually, on my tacos, I actually prefer more like a salsa um, on there. But this would be a good one to, if you're going to add some heat to it. Again, it got a very good garlic flavor. So anything that you enjoy uh, that has a garlic flavor to it, this would be really good. So huh. on their heat scale on the back, it looks like they've got it, obviously, at their hottest. Looks like they got six fins on there. If it's got a garlic taste, I think it would be good with like pasta and pizza. Definitely pizza, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody likes a little hot sauce on the pizza that likes hot sauce. I don't think there's too many people that are um, chili heads that don't put a little bit of hot sauce on their pizza. So, Jenny, I want to thank you for the super chat. I'm going to bring everybody back up full screen. Um, one thing I will tell you. If you if you haven't already tried Spicy Shark, check them out online. Really great company. Um, really good sauce. Obviously, they have different heat flavors. This is their highest heat profile sauce they have. Mm -hmm. They've got everything all the way down to habaneros. So definitely, definitely check them out. So now that Jenny has super chatted me, we will move on and give her what I think she's looking for. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. All right. So, wait, hey, Martin, how you doing, man? So, real quick. Oops. Ooh. Eyes are beginning to run a little bit, and so is the nose. So, again, very good heat profile. It does Stuff like this does not burn this bad when you add it to your food. When you go solo with it and you don't have it in your food, it obviously is a lot hotter than it is otherwise. So definitely a good, good tasting sauce. So uh, what's up, Dana? 
sounded like a perfect pizza sauce. You know. Yeah. And you know, on my way, on my way home, I thought about stopping and getting a sub and putting a bunch on a sub, mm-hmm. and do a bunch of different things like that. And um, I was on the phone with my wife and just blew right by the place I was going to stop. And then I thought about putting it on a hot dog, and I thought, hey, you don't put hot sauce on a hot dog. <laughs> that would just be dumb. You could. You could. It's not normal. Hot sauce is kind of like dodgeball. You can you can put hot sauce on anything. Well, you can. <laughs> you almost feel like you almost feel like you got to put it on pizza or taco. I thought about nachos, and I thought before I came down here, I thought, but by the time we go live and everything else, yeah. that'd probably be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Give it some kin, buddy. All right. Let's um. Where is our where is our lady at? Thank you, thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Diana Rose. Room, I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder. <laughs> Door's right there now. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Florida? Nah. Sherry Watson, what's up, girl? Got our I Texas thought, girl here. I still like that thought about you putting a bell there. That way, at least we get a warning. <laughs> Ding! Arsenal's here. <laughs> yeah. Well, he usually knows when it's coming, anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can he, hear. He, he, he's done. He's usually done something to uh, encourage because he's already he's looking over his shoulder. Yeah, my my spidey sense starts tingling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am cornered though. I can't get away here. That's the bad thing. <laughs> yeah, but when she gets in the door, I'm screwed. At least you know. get to face your opponent, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> So we were talking about this before, in case anybody is out there uh, that may want to join us or come and say hey. We were talking uh, before we started the live stream, um, kind of a little itinerary. I I don't suppose you guys would mind if I shared what our thought process is. Um, July 4th weekend, me and my family are headed down to Virginia. Um, we are going to be there through July 4th, and then we're headed on Monday, which I believe would be July 5th. Um, we are headed to Pucker Butt Pepper Company in South Carolina. Plan on getting down there that night and hanging out for a little while. Um, we figured we'll probably get there and they'll probably be closed. I don't know. I don't know what the I, we have to sit down and really plan this out good, better. We gotta sit down and plan this out better. Mm-hmm. But then the but then the following day, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe late Tuesday night, Wednesday and Thursday, we plan on being around Saucy Shane's area or practically right in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um and we're gonna hang out. Um Saucy Shane's about an hour west of Nashville. Um Ojasan is out in Arkansas, is about six hours away. And then Cindy and Mike and Chili Mean have talked about coming out and hanging out too. Yeah. So if any of y'all are out there, want to just, we're going to be out there, out and about. Um, I'll always have my phone on me. Yeah, anybody knows how to get me on Facebook Messenger. If you happen to be out there, if you know, you know, if you're on Facebook Messenger with Ojasan or Cindy or Saucy Shane or any of us, um, just say hey, you know, and if you were in the area, definitely would like to uh, meet up with the people that you know come here and support the channel, support you know, all of our channels, because most everybody that's here supporting me supports uh, the other cha- the other cha- met panelists that are up here and a lot of the channels that are in the chat. So, yeah, me, me and uh, Marcel will probably head up there Tuesday. I'll be there all day Wednesday, and I'll come home like Thursday afternoon. So, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I gotta yeah. go back to work the next night. <laughs> Stupid work. 
stupid work. <laughs> yeah, hey. That's what's going the, stu the stupid work is what will allow you to go out there and spend the night and spend the money on a hotel room, right? Yeah. Without the stupid work. So. <laughs> what are you doing, Samantha? I had to check on the kids outside. So. Ah. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> yep. I got a visitor. Yeah, oh, visitor. thanks for kisses. Yeah, I will. If, if, if Dan, if um, if you got all of us there and we've all got cameras and my wife can record and whatnot, I would. I would imagine we're gonna get quite a bit of footage. Now, I don't know. If I'm gonna bring some stuff with me, but I don't know that I plan on going out there and doing anything like a challenge, a big challenge that I would have to spend any time dealing with cramps. Now, maybe a pucker butt I might, but not on uh, not on uh, the time I get to meet my friends here. I don't know. Uh, sure, Coons. You know that don't work. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Jay, how you doing, man? <clears throat> Just call in. Yeah. Yeah, for some of us, that's very difficult to do, especially Jimmy. Jimmy's got a lot of people that depend on him. What are you drinking, Jimmy? Uh, one of my Ozark beers. It's kind of dangerous having these in here with me, I think. Huh? <laughs> I I really good. Have, have I seen that one before? Uh, it's the one I drove up uh, to Rogers to pick up. On my video. It's, uh, it's the BDCS 2021. Oh, okay. Is that the yeah. one you got the two cases of? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just bring I'll just bring all the stuff I owe you when I show up. <laughs> you don't owe me anything. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you some beer, saucy some beer. See what I, I like think. What I think I need to do is I need to bring Cindy's balls mm. for OG son. Mm. Mm. There you go. There you go. That's a good Cindy's idea. Balls. I got little hands. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I set it up so it's a roulette wheel. Oh, so shit. you won't know if you're getting a regular one or a spicy one. Oh. Your your spicy balls are well beyond my tolerance. <laughs> you just want to see me cry is all it is. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, we got to have that viral video, Jimmy. Well, we might make a viral video while we're out there. You never know. <laughs> but, it, but it wouldn't be about spicy, I got a feeling. <laughs> uh, what you meant? Were you mixing something down there, Cindy? Uh, no, I'm just drinking. What you got in that cup? What's with uh, that? Actually, it's it's a milkshake in a coffee cup because they ran out of milkshake. Is, is it just it's just straight up milkshake? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I've thought about putting a little whiskey in it, but <laughs> I, I haven't gotten that adventuresome yet. Yeah. Oh well, tonight Phil filling up for OG's wife. Filling up for OG's wife. He isn't the one who make him big. <laughs> uh, get yourself a small pickup, OG son, so you can get beer delivered by a cherry picker. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Any liquor store that I walk into is usually happy to see me by the time I get done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they know your name. And everything else. <laughs> We're making a sale today. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and and Shane, I think that would be dangerous for all of us lushes to go to tailgate. No, I'd love to go to tailgate, man. They they got some good looking beer there. Well, isn't isn't that close to your to where you live, Saucy? Well, we got to go to tailgate, right? Doesn't that mm -hmm. make sense? I want to say it's in Nashville. Yeah, I, I, I want to say that's a must visit place. As a matter of fact, if we get things a little more organized. You know, maybe we can, uh, you can let them know ahead of time that we're coming and uh, we can arrange something. I don't know. 
uh, it'd be kind of dangerous. All of us walk in there and everybody's got cameras. They'll think something big's going on. Oh, it is something big. It is something big. <laughs> It's it's like it's like when I go to a 4-H fair and you walk into the um, the livestock thing and all the animals stop moving. Mm -hmm. You wonder what's going on. Yeah. yeah. As soon as they hear me talk, they're gonna be like, "Oh shit! Oh shit!" <laughs> Put the velvet ropes out. Keep them away from the beer. Yeah. Matt J, we are not alcoholics. We're advanced drinkers. Mm -hmm. That's right. We are okay. alcohol enthusiasts. I, 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 I've gotten to the point I don't say I'm an alcoholic because alcoholics can go to meetings and try to quit. Well, well, we ain't trying to quit. We just have virtual <laughs> meetings. We're responsible, though. We are responsible. We are responsible. Res responsible, my ass. We're, we're all at home. We're all doing this responsibly. You know. It took them like four videos, and they finally got me to go to bed last night. So that was responsible of y'all to take care of me. You mean four live streams? No, they were sending me stuff on Facebook. And I was like, oh, I try not to look at it. And then I looked at it, and I'm like, God dang it. <laughs> That's all Finn did. Ask Beanie to send them a video and yeah. tell them to go to sent me one. I was kind of like, yeah, I'll probably keep drinking. Then Beanie sent one. I was like, damn it. All right. I, guess I'll go I know. Beer. And even after Beanie's, he said, well, where's Teresa? Uh, I'm not going to bed till Teresa sends me a message. At that point, I'm like, I'm like doing everything I know to get to see Teresa. <laughs> Send them a message now. Uh, I was I was on my way out. I was just being difficult. <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah, we're not nuts. But I think I think it's gonna be good when we get together. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I probably won't drink as much hanging out with you guys as I might drink on my own mm. sitting down here because I want to be I want to be able to remember everything we do. I want I want to, I want to drink I want to have a good time with my friends, but I also want to be able to re be able to remember it, not just live in the moment and then you know a day or a yeah. week later not not be able to remember what we do. I I've, I've been <laughs> I went to a Kid Rock concert like that and that's you know, when you don't remember what the the good time you had, then you didn't. Then it wasn't a good time. You got to have memories. So, yeah. we'll we'll True. be having a good time. But yeah, I want to make sure that um, you know I'm I, I drink responsibly and we I can remember having good time with you guys. Well, heck, Marcel and I are already planning some of the places, and one of the places in particular, <laughs> Poncho and Lefties. They have uh, what's called a margarita pot, and and I'm envisioning those, you know, the plastic tubes like kids get that drink, like uh, the icy pops, mm. except it's filled with margarita. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, walking up and down Honky Tonk Road, drinking our margaritas. Well, has anybody ever been to um, Bourbon Street? Huh? Now, see, we went, we were there for two days prior to getting onto one of our crews a few years back. And I remember a good portion of what we were doing there, but we didn't get we didn't get beyond Bourbon Street, which I'm, I'm really disappointed that, you know, that we would be out so late that when we got up the next day, it was that we missed going and seeing other parts of, you know, Bur that area, you know. So I'm going to I'm going to do things. A little, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. I, I just, I just hate, I, I just hate that there is a portion of Nashville that you guys won't be able to experience because they haven't, they haven't rebuilt it yet. Oh yeah. So, and I, I, I was, it was weird because Marcel's like, yeah, where all can we hit? And I'm, I'm sitting there in my mind thinking, well, we got to do Coyote Ugly and we got to do this and that. And then I start looking and, you know, Coyote Ugly was one of the ones that was bombed at Christmas. Mm. So yeah. it, it's just like, you know, there's, there's a whole section of there that you guys just won't get to experience like mm. I have before. So. I must have missed that in the news, or I don't remember that. More the, yeah, uh, yeah. There was, there was, there was a pretty big um, thing right there at Christmas. A uh, RV pulled up. 
Oh, that one. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Yeah, and, and matter of fact, they had a, a news conference about it today um, saying uh, that they they never will fully know exactly what all happened and if that guy acted alone. So, Yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? That was, um, wasn't that like Christmas Eve or something? Yeah. Yeah. It makes me wonder what goes through people's heads. Well, pe people aren't sane. Now, they, what was this guy? Um, this guy that just this gentleman that just hit. I just say gentleman that just hit this Asian lady in the face, just yeah. walking by her, just cold cocked her in the face, and come to find out, he had gone to a psychiatric order, gone to see a psych uh, a psychiatric order someplace, and they deemed him to not be a menace to society, and he would have gone into a, a lobby and cold cocked someone. Uh -huh. And then went down the street and cold cocked that lady. So obviously he was, he was some somehow to mentally insane. So yeah, there, there's just a lot of unwell people, and there's just too much adding to it nowadays. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean the, these, hey, I, I, the guy needs help, yep. and he should get it. He should he should he should be somewhere where he can get the help he needs, so he's not out in society whether it's a, a mental place or whatever. Um, and again, at the end of the day, everyone should be charged for their crimes. Yeah. You know, if you commit a crime, met, you know, whether you're, uh, you know, have psychological problems or something, nothing, or something, you know, there should, there has to be penalties for that. You can't just release you back out in the public the next day. So yeah, David Jones, it, you know, it is, it is. Yeah, it was Christmas morning. It was Christmas morning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I do. I had forgotten it once Cindy had said it and where it was at. But yeah, now that you mentioned that, I do remember that. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I remember it because I, I, live in in Nash or, in Tennessee, but I also have a friend that's, police officer, in Nashville. So. Well, if you got friends or family that live in the area and someone you can directly communicate with, then, yeah, it does hit home a little bit more. It's funny because when you see that stuff on TV or you hear about it, if it doesn't directly reflect you, it's almost like it isn't real, right? I know for a lot, I know the day that 9-11 happened, I was at work. I had just started the car business. I probably wasn't a year into the car business, and people were coming in and buying cars that day. I sold three cars on 9-11 the day the towers came down. And we had it running on the TV. You could watch it, but it almost didn't seem real. It was, it was, you know what I mean? It was real. We were watching it on TV because it was in New York. It just, and it wasn't, it wasn't affecting people. People weren't all at home glued to their TV. People were still, you know, out and about doing their things, which um, kind of sad at a certain point, you know? Yeah. I tell you what, that's probably the one time our country came together the most. You know, it didn't matter what side you were on, um, left or right. Um, I think that's when our country came together the most and really respected our first responders, those people who, um, you know, went into harm's way in order to save other people. And um, that's what I really, that's, you know, I, I give the military a lot of credit, you know, the guys, the men and women that are in our military. But I give those people in our civilian world that basically are doing a military type job, uh -huh. whether you're a police officer, paramedic, firefighter, um, you know, we'll, you know, ER doctor, you know, you guys there on the, the we just went through it right with um, uh -huh. COVID. Uh -huh. A lot of us, you know, we're having to stay home from work. They were right in the thick of things. So, all right, we, we quit talking about that. <laughs> don't, don't want to bring anybody down. This is, you know, so, yeah. so, so Cindy's got a bunch of strip clubs lined out in Nashville, apparently. Uh, no, they're not strip clubs. <laughs> Sound like it. They are not. <laughs> like naked booty something, beer joint. And... No, it's it's Nike's honky tonk. Oh, whoa, yeah, that's yeah, that doesn't sound too bad at all. <laughs> hey, hey, now we've also got Poncho, Poncho and Lefties and. If you can get me out of a honky tonk without a black eye, Cindy, you'll have accomplished something. Because that uh, would be the first. 
I, I will I will get you out of honky tonks without black eyes. All right, all right. And there's no guarantee in that that Marcel won't give you one afterward. Yeah. But who's who's wearing the papoose and carrying me around? Is all I want to know. Oh, well, you said Shane was doing that. So. <laughs> all right. I, you you, you think, got the littlest guy carrying around Ojisan. <laughs> Ojisan weighs. Ojisan, even though he's shorter, probably weighs more than Sasi Shane. Uh, yeah, me and Mike are supposed to be losing weight together. Yeah, well, uh, I was at like two twenty seven, and Mike was at two thirty something. How the hell? I mean, I look at Mike. How the hell is Mike two thirty? Is he you know five feet two inches or something? He is. Uh, he's only an inch taller than me. Hi, y'all let me, y'all let me hear oh, that. Really? Yeah. For some reason, I I thought I was thinking that Mike was about my height. When he said 235, I was trying to think to myself, well, which leg is 235? <laughs> now, if he was a if he was a six six footer, he'd be, he'd be a big old boy. Yeah. Because you know I'm six one, and you know we ain't gonna we ain't gonna go into what I weigh. So. <laughs> what about two fifty? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that that's the half of me you can see is two fifty. Damn. <laughs> well, no, I'm always talking about how I need to do things differently. It's um, yeah, yeah, we're getting to that age. I mean, that's the it's the it's the hard truth of it. But you got a choice to make at this age, you know. Yep. What's up, Rebecca? How you doing? Have a good night, Rebecca. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Good night, hey, Rebecca. Rebecca. What's up, Gawani? How you doing, my friend? Gawani, Austin, and Gawani. And, and Dan, uh, if I have to explain, explain a strip club, you know, sorry. I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> explain a strip club? See you, Rebecca. Have a good one, lady. When uh when me and Marcia Dale first got married, our first apartment was right across the street from the strip club in Great Falls, Montana, the big one. So I could sit on my balcony and watch everybody that was going in and out of the strip club all night long. So I had to low down on everybody. It was interesting. It was interesting to sit and watch that activity. <laughs> well, that that's funny, OG son, because when Michael and I first got married. We lived right off post at Fort Campbell, mm -hmm. uh, across from uh, what everybody calls Cat West. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it, we could literally look out our front door of our uh, townhome and see Cat West. Mm -hmm. And and of course they had this this strip of dirt or whatever behind it that if it rained a lot. Mm -hmm. there, there was a huge pond, and I used to say, "Look, it's Lake Titicaca." So. <laughs> I always like watching all the uh, the bro downs in the parking lot because you know half the guys come out of the strip club pissed off. So there's, there's all the chest bumping and and the the bro downs. Come on, bro, come at me. It was it was it was awesome. Well, Just to good. watch it. Those are guys that walk in with a lot of money, feeling really good, have all the girls give them laughter, and they walk out realizing that they're probably not as drunk as they would like to have been. They just blew all their money and then some because they probably went to the ATM inside. And they're, and, they're, and they're walking out feeling like they just got teased for two, three hours. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. They go, they end up going home alone anyway. So, <laughs> and, and, and if they ain't got someone waiting at home to put it to, then you know they're really screwed. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it was right outside one of the main gates. I mean, literally, you could walk out of the main gate, and there it is. Well, now there's a Walmart. I shit you not, literally across the street from it. So oh, you God. got Walmart. You can pick up whatever you need. <laughs> you can go to the strip club, and then you can go back on post. Shane, yeah, I mean, you want to talk about it? You can go to Walmart, have them break a hundred for you, all down into singles. And uh, mm -hmm. you have a great night. Mm -hmm. Although I'm, I, although I'm probably dating myself, they're probably the strippers probably don't like singles anymore. <laughs> you pull out a bunch of singles, they'll probably laugh at you. Those silver dollars back in those days, wasn't it? 
I mean, those hurt when you throw those at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on how big the stripper is. Oh, well, they had some big ones there in Montana. Do that. Yeah. Corn fed. Up there. Good. I was going to say exact same words. Some good old corn fed strippers. There you go. <laughs> Stages ain't, are rumbling. Ain't nothing wrong with a full figured gal. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. That pole's got to be made out of titanium. That's all I kept thinking when I went in there. <laughs> like, there's no way that that's just like brass. <laughs> well, okay, this, this is how bad it is. I, I, I don't know if any of y'all have been to Fort Campbell. Fort Campbell's on the Tennessee Kentucky line anyway. Mm -hmm. But you know, we would give people directions to come to our house and we would say, okay, there's a, there's literally a steakhouse on one side of the road that we lived on. And on the other was Cat West. Mm. And, and I, I could say all day, mm. yeah, you turn right at the steakhouse, had this big, huge concrete cow out in front of it. Say, so turn there at that one. They would miss it. But if I say, you turn right before you get to Cat West. Boy, they knew exactly what road. I'm sitting here going, how crazy is this that you can say a strip club and they know exactly, but never mind the big freaking 50 foot cow out there. So I did have to uh, go there one time to, to pick up my nephew Jason, which y'all met the other night. But uh, <laughs> as soon as I got like in town, I was like, whoop, lock the doors, roll them up. It's like, oh no, <laughs> it's a rough little town right here. <laughs> nah, Oak Grove, Oak, Oak Grove's pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, the closer you got to the base, though, you could tell like you were getting close to the base. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, suddenly strip clubs, car joints, and, yeah. and bars. Yeah, yeah bars. Well, it's, it's, it's every military base, right? Yeah, basically. And and all the used cars are just ridiculous looking like yellow Hummers with <laughs> 20, mm -hmm. 30 inch rims. And, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're getting close to base now. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's kind of funny because that's the way Fort Campbell is, and it's surrounded by farmland outside of little Oak Grove. So I was surprised at how big that base was. That was huge. Yeah. You're awfully quiet up there. <laughs> I'm behaving. You're behaving. Mm -hmm. I was I just thinking you. the same thing. I'm like, Ann's pretty sad. Yeah, what the heck? Well, imagine if it's pinks and drinks and, you know. Mm. Yeah, not, not on your stream. Ah, you. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> 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 I, I walked in on that field. You don't want that up here. It, it, you don't. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I was going to say, don't ask for what you don't want. <laughs> I don't, I don't try yeah. that. Come okay. around the corner. I'm like, oh, 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 let me go back to the bedroom. I didn't, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Gawani was asking what we reviewed. So there it was the spicy shark. Do, 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 do. So, go back, everyone. I had Mayberry Mayberry singing uh, Spicy Shark instead of You missed one of the ladies, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm one of the honorary ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 remember, Jimmy, you know, we've had you shirtless and twerking, so. Mm. Oh, he did oh, really? shirt off without asking, yeah. so yeah. He yeah. just, like, pull it off, here I am. I, I'm, yeah, I'm sure a few drinks did. They made me put on my old jujitsu uh, tights the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a picture of that, Jim. I bet, I bet you do. <laughs> and I'm sure you had no problem with that, did you? Just yeah, yeah. No, you had no problem with, like, going around with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Get a couple of them barrel-aged beer, you know, just on you can pretty much get him to do anything. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Be mankini next. Well, see, he, he's got all the approval he needs with Marcel right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't want to feel dirty, Phil. Don't want to feel dirty. <laughs> don't, don't want to feel cheap. I don't I mean, shower, like, oh, I can't wash it off. 
<laughs> is, it, is it is that possible, Jimmy? Oh, uh, hey, uh, look, at, look at that ass! Look at that ass! What the hell? <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh my goodness! Those are yeah. <laughs> when you get no good, you get to you get the tights, and yeah, they're not tights; they're spats. They're yeah, they're not tights. <laughs> they look tight. No, they are tight, but yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you showed that side. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I can't think of the front part, too. So, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, that's right, Saucy Chain. What happens in Pink Street stays in Pink Street. It, yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like Vegas. Well, when, when, when we are alive, we are alive. So, yeah. Ams. <laughs> That's some ams right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where all the big corn-fed strippers hang out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got them all shapes and sizes here. So, so, so Jimmy, you're getting a mankini. Hmm. Mm. I was... I I was showing them a variety of jumpers the other night, so they're trying to select me out of jumper. Uh, I, I'm thinking if you're going to do the mankini, then Phil needs to bring the mankini down. And Oh, I'm not hey. wearing Phil's mankini. There's no way I'm wearing <laughs> No, you wear your own. Oh, all, oh. all three, y'all, you, Shane, and, and Phil, run down the streets of downtown Nashville see, in a mankini. See? I'm yeah, me me yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, my wife would my wife would just drive off <laughs> oh, or kill you first. I, I need to get an Uber back to Michigan. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking there's no way I'm wearing Phil's mankini because then we'll be no. like Blood Brothers or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't need to be sharing each out. other's uh you know Monday cheese <laughs> or nothing. From Monday. From Monday. Um, I've only worn that thing maybe a half dozen times. It's not like I've worn it a lot. You have a second one. I do have a second one. I have a second one that was actually sent to me by um, Nukes. Luciana and Adele from Nuke Chilihead. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can find that. Give me a second. Well, heck, heck, the three of y'all should have like a red, white, and blue theme one <laughs> since it's going to be right there at the 4th of July. I'm thinking I'm going to be wearing some cargo shorts and some uh, maybe my Crocs, you know, just in case mm -hmm. I got to run. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> there you go. There you Shane go. Says we should all ride the pedal tavern in mankinis. Yes, <laughs> that that would be something. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! Different colored ones. Oh god! Mm -hmm. I would die. Was that thing camouflage? Oh, never mind. That's just the way it looks now. I guess it goes, yeah, like that. So that's at the crotch area. Oh my mm -hmm. god! That that looks painful as hell. <laughs> well, look, look what goes up the crack of your ass. Oh man! I mean, I don't know how yeah. ladies. Yeah, that's just too ladies. much fabric. Hey, put that. No. <laughs> It, it depends on like who that. you are. Right? 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 Again, these are one where, size fits most. So, but that much fabric. Where in this world did you get that? Trust me, it's trust me. I put this on. Oh, that fabric is going to stretch and disappear. See how that's going to see once that stretches. See how see what see how much fabric is there? Yeah. He got it from a couple in England. Uh, yeah. Where? Yeah, they they saw it somewhere they were at, and they thought of me because I'd done a challenge on their um, channel channel in my other mankini, and they uh yeah they sent that to me. See, Phil six one, he'll stretch it out. If I put it on, it'd still be all loose. I'd have just stuff dangling out all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's not the legs you wear it. You know, your upper body is tall and... Oh, yeah, my upper body. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. So, yeah, it will fit you. It will go on your legs, so, yeah. <laughs> Man, that wouldn't even hold one nut. <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta adjust something there to make that work, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. I, um, Do they have, like, a pouch, like a safety pouch, or no? 
I yeah, I, I almost want to put like a gym sock in there just so you nobody could you know. You know. <laughs> well, you have seen I, I made that movie. Never mind. I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> we, we know already how you look uh, look down there. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, there, there's a picture Twister out right. there somewhere with a full shot. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Twister Art Lady Samantha? How you doing, girl? Well, oh. uh, hang, hang, hang me big for a second, Phil. Oh, listen to him. Well, look at there, Twisted Art Lady. Ooh, I, I like it. Yeah, nice. She, she's wanting to do an art trade for this one. So I, I found we, it. We I did. dug it out today while I was cleaning my room out. So. Beautiful. Very cool. We almost missed this. What's up, Dylan? Let's uh, let's give Dylan a little. Um... Oh, he don't want that. Sorry. See, all I'm thinking is, ma'am, you need to pick your tan lines. Like, that's just it's unacceptable. Yeah, yeah, whoever brought up the tan line just kind of screwed that up for me completely. Not really. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Man. Uh, Spray tan or something. Come on. Now. No, what she should have done is either tan with no bottoms on or with a thong on. That way the tan line doesn't show. I'm sorry. If, if she was out there doing that, the, was of the people that sun their butthole? If she was out there right. doing that, she'd have been all right? Yeah, <laughs> basically. Who was that actor that did that and like burn his butthole or something? Remember that in the news? <laughs> um, no. I think it was Josh Brolin, the guy that played Thanos. <laughs> I mean, how do you burn? How do you, how do you, I don't care how thin you are. How do you position yourself? With your anus towards the sun, where you have, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be doing in, in like a downward doggy position. Phil, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's a video. There's a video. There are videos. Yeah. And how long it, it, you gotta be there to get your butthole burned? Well, oh. it's a whole thing. People think they can absorb energy from the sun through their butthole. No, no lie. Yes, that's a real thing. Look it up. Google that up right now. No way. So you can tell me who the actor was that burned his butthole. <laughs> Come on. Absorb. <laughs> Come on, man. Get your butthole out of the sun. <laughs> sun don't want to see that. Uh, it was Josh Brolin. <laughs> I thought it was All out. I'm seeing here it says don't harvest solar energy with your butthole, says scientists. So so I've got Thanos right here. So let's imagine it's a it's something like this. And then you, you gotta like right get right in the sun like this. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm looking at a little video right here, so <laughs> I'm not seeing it's a there's a there's a, a commercial first because this is oh come on man <laughs> don't do that to me. There, there you go, Jimmy. There's the news article where he where he uh, did it. I remember I remember it happened. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> is this is there any nudity in this picture? I don't think there is. I think that I think they're sunlighting it out. So I think we can show this and be all right. I think that, um we're going but that was. This is definitely not the position I was thinking that you would have to be in mm -hmm. in order to uh, get that tan. <laughs> yep, that's kind of what I was thinking. They got extra. They got extra sunlight over the boobs, but I would, that was not the position that I was thinking you would need to be in in order to uh, get that tan. Just saying. I'm just saying. There's a lot of stuff right there that you probably don't want to get sunburned. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, uh, let's 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 go back one. Let's see here. Let's see if uh, we got they got to give us any more uh, butthole sunning. The viral <laughs> phenomenon explained. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. Why is everything got this? There's there's another picture of the same girl. There's a video. Is that the, is, you gotta go through the advertisement. I see. That's why. That's why I like about having premium on YouTube. I don't have to do any commercials. I wonder if you can what? start like a naked beginner. Oh video my show. goodness! <laughs> yeah, how are people thinking? Hmm? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're burnt, man. They're burnt. They're burning up bad. <laughs> And these are dudes. Come on. Hold on a second. <laughs> I, I might get in trouble here. We may have to cut this out, but let's see here. <laughs> Think it smell like bacon? Uh, no, I think it smells like burning shit. Mm -mm. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, what are these dudes thinking? They're, these they're are dudes. getting energy. <laughs> I mean, how long could you possibly maintain that position? Long enough to get burned, apparently. Apparently. And if I'm going to do this, I'm not hanging out with another dude doing this. You're, I mean, you're sus you're under suspicion right there. <laughs> I'm not doing it with other dudes. Just saying. You mean to tell me you're going to come to Nashville and you and, and Jimmy and Jane won't be out there? Sunning your buttholes. I will have a ghostly white butthole until the day mm -hmm. I die. That's right. <laughs> and it's funny. It's funny that you talk about stuff like that, and yet there's been people for years, or at least people in the porn industry for years, that have been bleaching their butthole so it doesn't look so bad in porn. Now these guys are out there tanning them, getting the nice people out there <laughs> tanning their assholes big darker. <laughs> oh my God. So, so, so if your butthole is brown, does it look like you didn't wipe real good? I don't know. I've never really studied mine. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and Dylan makes a good point. Plus burning your balls. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see what Saucy Shane says right there above it. <laughs> Hear okay. me out. I was trying to train for the ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, that's wrong. Oh. I got a perfect spot for butthole sunning. <laughs> well, please do not take us to that spot when we get to your house there, Saucy. Your <laughs> I'm good. I, I'm, I'm sure Ojisan's got a better spot. I got, I got a perfect spot, but it ain't happening. But it ain't happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll start putting Santan lotion on down there, and I mean, thing one thing leads to another. You never know where I may just be out in the barn. What? Yeah. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you That's don't a, have sun hole. Sun hole. You Is just, it sun hole? Is that what it's called? Sun hole bleaching. You you don't have to cover it, Saucy Shane. You just gotta put sunblock on and make sure you cover well, it. That's what good. I'm saying. When you start rubbing sunblock lotion down there, one thing leads to another. Then you're just out in the barn somewhere, and then the whole thing is over. And you just... Again, what are you fucking you saying? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> You can put some mark down there all day long, and ain't gonna change anything. I believe, I believe, uh, I believe Adam Sandler made a song about it. <laughs> What's up, square table? <laughs> oh now you remember it, don't you? Say? <laughs> oh, um, all right. I'll be right back. The boss lady's up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know about sun hole bleaching, but I'd love to watch those dudes do yoga in kilts. Well, yoga in kilts, okay. You know, if you got you know, a young, handsome guy or even an older, more mature guy that's in good shape doing yoga in kilts, I could see where chicks would dig that. Yeah, why must they always be young? Huh? Why must they always be girls, young? Girls, I mean, you got, look at you guys drool over Momoa. Drool. 
over them all. Come on. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, he's not the only one we drool over. I mean, yeah, you know. no. But but, nope. but 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 I mean, you guys you guys drool like you just got done eating twenty one Reapers when Momoa is up here. What, not I? just not just with Momoa. Yeah, but you you like you like the other guys. I know you like the other guys, but Momoa is one of those ones that just for some reason there's something about him. Well, it's, it's because he's not. It's because unlike the ones that Ann shows, he's not a stripper. Oh. He's like a real person. Not that strippers aren't real people. <laughs> but JC wants to know or where uh, Sty Two Point Oh is. Oh, he's uh, he's hanging out down here. Mm. He, he lost his hat. We could make a. Here we go. We got. Hey. No. Oh, he's supposed damn. to be co hosting. We haven't seen much of him. Sty 2.0 with his Donald Trump hair. <laughs> God. <laughs> Looks natural. Looks natural. Looks natural. Obviously. I mean, it blends in nicely, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Hey, He's Phil, my kids are here. I got to go get them some of this stuff. <laughs> They're going to pick up some of this stuff I pull out of my back room. So I'll be back in a little while. All right. Yeah. So, so in case you were wondering where, um, yeah, he was at. There, that's it's him. He's got his new hairdo going. I don't think he likes me very much. <sighs> 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 Oh my goodness. Third degree blur and blisters. Right, right. That would not be good, Tuna. I like how Tuna always stays in character. Tuna is never out of character. Tuna is always Tuna. <laughs> never out of character. True. Good. A tuna Emperor. I mean, have I been to Tuna Emperor's channel before? Tuna, not got a channel. Well, he called something else before Emperor. Yeah, but I mean, he changed the channel name. Yeah, see, there's no Tuna Emperor channel that I can see. Now, I, I you know, I Google Tuna Emperor. What the hell do I get? Seiko watches. Seiko, Google Seiko it. Emperor Tuna. Dive you can't Google. You got to go to YouTube and search it on YouTube. I'm in YouTube. Oh, and then Google. Google. I'm in Google. And it says Seiko Emperor Tuna. Seiko, 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 Seiko. Uh -huh. so oh apparently, God. a lot of people have reviewed this uh, Seiko Emperor Tuna watch. Yep. <laughs> oh, be careful here. This is where I, uh, I was okay. I was trying to be careful. That's usually where I click on the wrong button and then I had to bring myself back to the studio. <laughs> uh, see that is that one? What? <laughs> what I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Take it down. Take it down. <laughs> Such a stinker. There's the yeah, you, you definitely you definitely gotta, you know, when she starts flipping you off, you definitely gotta bring that up. Now you can click on it. It's still in the shot there. Is that his channel? Yeah. Yeah, but can I click I can't click on that oh I can click on it on my phone. Oh you stupid motherfucker. Oh you stupid motherfucker. So he's you got, don't know how to, so he's how got to 60 click subscribers, click. no videos. Okay. All right. So now you got 61, Tuna, in case you ever decide to uh, make any videos. Yeah, some people just like to watch and support. Yeah. He's That's a supporter. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. That's what they always say. <laughs> That's not Sage. How dare you try to lie to the Tuna? <laughs> <laughs> tuna doesn't have any videos. Maybe soon. Cool. Maybe right. maybe with some tuna swimming upstream or something. I don't know. Yeah. Right, Sausage Shane. If I can get on camera, anyone can. 
Can you ladies hold the fort down for just a moment? Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad because now it's just pinks and rings up there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh. Minus, minus two. Yeah. And yeah, but still pinks and rings. Hmm? Anywho. Yeah, we we <laughs> could cause trouble. Put a lot of trust Ow. in us. I will be nice. <laughs> That's a first. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't want to piss anybody off. <laughs> Take it down. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. JCT, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's Wednesday, man. Feels like Monday to me. Oh. That whole holiday, holiday, that whole holiday screwed up everything. Hey, Chasing the Reaper. It's not different. Like, yeah, it uh, did. Kind of made the week shorter. We shorter always hit home anyway. We don't work, so for us it's the same. You know? You know, like, now, now he's asking me to go to the grow and clip, and I'm just... I'd rather have somebody else get in there who knows what they're doing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I've got a card, yeah. but I really don't have much training, so I'm trying to avoid it at all costs. So you you wanna you wanna know how to get a get out of it, Samantha? Why go, in, go, go in there with one of those <laughs> power power uh weed whackers and start oh, laughing. Kill me. No, he laughing. kill me. Laughing yeah. like a like a crazed woman, and I'd yep. be banned for life. Yep, before you even get to the door, he wouldn't be asking you ever again. <laughs> True. Every day feels like Monday to me. I'm always tired. Yeah, I understand that, Dylan. Really, March almost like uh, Groundhog Day. Same oh, thing. Different in Norway, like Sunday, the store is not open. Yeah, that's probably. I always want something on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> the garbage disposal always does the trick. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh quit putting ideas in my head, guys. It's like, come on, <laughs> start, start. Up. Why not? I'm sorry. The thought of the thought of Samantha there with one of them high-powered weed whackers just just laughing like she's crazed or something at the door, you know. And trim the parsley. Yeah, that will also do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Be sure to wear the the crown when you're doing it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why my mom sent me those, but she's funny. I I play with them every now and then. It's it's fun, but I'm thinking of donating them to actual pageants because they're really nice. They're nice pieces. It's just they're sitting there. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I I think I need to join TikTok and and Snapchat. I I think I need to join them and. Start yeah. start watching for these crazy videos. Yeah. You know, the one where Sam's at the door with a crown on saying, bow to me, bitch, bow to me. <laughs> There's no such video yet. Yeah. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't, don't tease people. <laughs> mm -hmm. said you, yet. You, you did hear that yet. Yes, I did yeah. hear yet. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the first thing I heard. She's trying to convince me to do something like that, and I just have a feeling he he wouldn't react well. So I'm like, no, nah, I probably shouldn't do that. Well, I should have just left them up here by themselves, then, Dylan. I should just go. I should just go <laughs> hang out somewhere else. What? What now? Look at that. Hey, Waste Mike. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks so, 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 since this is this is a super chat for the girls, here we go. You got a tendency for taking all your clothes off. Oh man, hot damn, you got a body like. Oh, 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 oh man, hot damn, I'm falling hard like. Oh, 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 o
I had to get I had to give that one to the girls. So I'm mm. honestly getting sick of Aquaman. I'm sorry, but you need to get like a real man, like a you know, I don't care, dad bod, whatever, but you know, just you see what it all kind of, all that you would see? make some of us ladies happy too. So <laughs> I really oh, we that boy with a nice ass, you know. That, that's a that, dream. That's a fantasy. Oh. There you go. Yeah, that rocks you. my world. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Put you off when you're dancing on the porch. Floor. Sign me up. <laughs> I don't. I don't have that video, Anne. I have that video. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> I just have to look for it. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Real man, yeah. dad, one. Yeah. Yes, Tuner Emperor. He doesn't have to look like Jason Momoa. If he can make you laugh and make you smile and treat you like a queen, then it doesn't matter. Now, I like sure. I like yeah. Jason on TikTok because he's he got like nice videos and he's like. It look like I'm trying on. He says, there. "Real man, Phil, get me up yeah. there for these ladies." <laughs> I put the link in the chat for Mike. <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking at blowjobs <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. He was live for four hours. I tried to go on his live right towards the end, and I got outside and I was trying to do it on my phone, and my phone for some reason wouldn't cooperate with me. So, yeah. What's up, Jimmy Pickles? How you doing, man? Hey, Jimmy. Always hey, got Jimmy. one in here for Jim. Always hey, got Joe. always got a banner down here for Jimmy Pickles. JPPepperseed.com. Because <laughs> Jimmy's my man. That's the guy I get all my uh, pepper seeds pepper. from every year. Although Jimmy, I haven't I haven't done real good with my peppers this year. They're uh, they got frostbite a few days ago, and I got them buried in the ground now with some topsoil and whatnot. And they they don't look very happy, but maybe as the summer goes along, they'll get they'll 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 feel better. It's not your fault; it's my fault. You know, it's not me. It's you. Fault. It's not you. It's me. Whatever it is. <laughs> Talk to the oh. plants. That always helps. Oh, Talk to the plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> go go out there, Phil, and and sing to them. Just sing. Yep. To them. My neighbors already think I'm freaking nuts. Well, <laughs> here, hold on, hold on a second. I got, I got someone that will sing to him right here. Uh oh. There you go. Well, Fulton. Fulton will sing to him for me. What? Hey, what am I singing, huh? <laughs> that, that, that was a blowjob. A what? Well, I'm, I'm looking at blowjob. You know the cocktail, but I was scrolling down and suddenly I saw like you know the blowjob. What? <laughs> what? Good, Why great. do you zoom in on me? Because she oh, said bah humbug. Yeah. Because she is always drinking blowjobs. I was Googling that. Say, really cool. hey, Phil, blow where blow were you? I was on my stream and I didn't see you. I was, um, well, I was here on my stream. Oh. <laughs> I, I probably would do one tomorrow so you can come on. The... Well, tomorrow is Thursday. Mm -hmm. I work until. I won't be home until nine o'clock, and my wife will be home after spending four days with her mom taking care of her. Oh, good. I probably I'm, won't be I'm on YouTube be, but all tomorrow night. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be home all week, all summer, because I'm out of um, college and school already. Yep. Well, mm -hmm. it was my last day, so I'm done. Saucy Shane just bought a UK Chili Queen chug. You know, oh, I yeah. probably need to buy one of those just so I can say I've done it. Speaking of that, got something new. What do you... Is that a thong? No, it's my new no. tie. Your new tie. Oh, I'm sorry. You're yeah. wearing it. Sorry. <laughs> it's got holes in it. Yeah. Was it like 50% off or something with all those holes in it? Yeah, it was like... 50% off at um, Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree. Yeah. A tie with a polo shirt. That's that's a new look. You, you can invent that. Yeah, I could. Uh, you're right. fun to hang out with, Fulton. 
I, don't care, what, I don't care what anybody says. You're good to hang out with. You're good people. Yeah, I, I had two videos today. Um, two premiere videos today. Did you? And I think I did one uh, earlier today with the, uh, the new ice cream flavor. Gotcha. It's called one of those uh, cake pops ice cream. Cake pop ice cream. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like a winner. Got one. T- what are you tra- afraid to drive a- Oh, the UK Chili Queen chug. Yeah, you know, I've been trying to stay away from the chugs. But I did, you know, the the, the, the chug version, too, I think is everybody has said is pretty much the worst one. And so I've done that a couple of times. So maybe I'll I'll, uh, I'll check out the, um, the UK Chili Queen one. Or maybe, I don't know. I got some other stuff I need to do, too. Sam? What? <laughs> How are you doing, Sam? Why are you looking at me? Good. Oh, you, look like you, staring off, you look like you Is were staring okay? off at the distance. You, you caught me zoning she, out. She was zoning out. I do that all the time. Thinking. Trying to, trying to Cindy, how are you doing? Together. You doing okay? Yeah, doing pretty good. How about you? That's good. Uh, doing all right. Been having my last day today, so... Yeah, I saw that. Hey guys, um, Saucy, wh- when are you doing that again? Because I know Saucy as da- Saucy is going to be downloading his four hundredth video. I cannot believe I'm almost to my four hundred already. I'm talking, Fulton. Shut up. Anyway, right. <laughs> I can't believe that Saucy Kane is actually at four hundred videos. So he will be down. He will be um doing. The version three chug from League of Fire and the Solar Flare channel challenge all in one. So um again, I don't know when that is. Uh if you want to share that in the chat, by all means. I know when the time comes, we will be sharing that out so everyone knows uh where to uh where to catch it. Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. So there you go. That's always a good time because definitely definitely can be there myself unless uh the wife has got me being uh I don't know. You know, that's usually uh, when I do a Super Hot Challenge, it's about 5 p.m. Eastern. So, yeah, uh, I should be available. We'll watch it and hang out. And... Oh, yeah, the solar, the solar flare solar flare doesn't get really hot until you get to the final nuts. Mm. And the final ones, I don't know what it is with those things, man. Those, uh, if you have not seen this. The, fi- the final nuts in this, the ones that are extra hot, actually with the coating they put on those things, they actually look like a little Rice Krispies. They're about the size of Rice Krispies now instead of mm. sunflower seeds. And um, they're not crisp like regular sunflower seeds. It's almost, um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But I got a good, on that final one, I got a good um, heat level going on that. So for Saucy to be able to do that and a chug, I will, uh, I will give them all the praise in the world, so. So now we just lost both the girls. They just bolted on us. Let's say both the girls. I didn't lose all the girls. So I, I have still have one with me. Where'd you get the uh, <laughs> Where'd you get the death nut at? You know. Um, online death nut dot com. Hmm. Check that out. Yeah, that way, you know, Walter, If you got the death nut, I would. I would. What do you what do you think, you guys? If you you've watched Fulton eat some spicy stuff, do you think he'd be get beyond the first nut and death nut? I don't know if my mom would like that. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I have to ask her. I, See, I, I don't would, think he should torture himself. No. I, yeah, I don't. I yeah. don't. I, I don't think he should do that either. No. Just you should stick with the store bought spicy chips and the store bought spicy stuff. Um, that's what you that's probably the best place for you to um do your spicy challenges from. I wonder if I can find one of those spicy chocolates. Um, well, you can there is a um, there's a chocolate that has jalapeno in it that you can get. Um, if you go to the chocolate section in a grocery store, you have to get away. It's our chocolate section at the grocery store is right by where you in. Um, where you get like the bigger bags of gummy bears and gummy worms and things. Would you quit rustling around there, Fulton? Please. Hi. 
I'm not wrestling. You are rustling around. Your microphone is rustling around. Oh, sorry. Okay. But um, and and there is a chocolate back there that has habanero. Matter of fact, I think when I sent Crazy Ann a care package, oh, it's probably been two years ago. I sent her one of those, and I think it was um, I think it was um, jalapeno was what made it spicy. I've never tried it myself, but if you wanted to do a spicy chocolate challenge, that would be um, that would be a way to go. Now, Saucy Shane has put that in there. Obviously, you can't click on the link on the screen here, but he has put the uh, thing for Saturday's challenge on there. So make sure you click on Saucy Shane's link. Go in there while we're here. Go in there. Put a reminder in so you don't forget Saucy Shane at 5 p.m. Central Time to check him out for sure. 400th video. And there's one more thing for Saucy Shane. Uh, Shane, drink lots and lots of water. That will help you <laughs> survive. That is that is a good that is a good thing. After you do after you do a super hot challenge, spike water does help to dilute the spikes and does help to uh, minimize the amount of ten uh, bottles of water. Eight. It isn't so much for the mouth; it's more for the stomach. But yeah, yep, yep. Mike can't even handle Sam's too spicy for him. I saw it. <laughs> mm. Stop it. Well, I heard you chuckle, so I, that's why I had to stick Take it back it down. <laughs> that's why I had to stick it back up there. I feel exposed. Actually, actually, milk is another good thing. I, you, know, you can only drink so much milk there, too. And I, I usually drink uh, a couple of eight-ounce glasses of milk, or um, not eight-ounce. These are 16-ounce glasses, so probably about... 20 ounces of milk or so after a super spicy challenge and then have to just switch over to water. You just get too many calories with milk to drink much more than two glasses. So not that I'm really watching my calories, but I try to watch my calories somewhat. So. Well, anyways, we got to get off. Now. All right, Fulton. But I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. I will I will do my best to have a good day. I'll have a good day for you, Fulton, okay? I will. And uh, I will keep you updated on the uh, podcast pretty Please soon. Please do. Please do. All right. I'll see you guys. Have a good one, man. Yep. And it was like, I just came back. Don't make me big, damn it. Nothing to see, you know. That's 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 my that's always my what's my wife's word. Damn it, damn it. I don't say that. Damn it. <laughs> and you say what? Damn it. <laughs> that's my one video. I got to pull this up right here. That was the very beginning of. Because you can start hearing something you shouldn't. Um, oh no no no. Oh, da, 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 da. Porn? Yes, exactly. I'm bringing up porn. Live on a YouTube. Right. I think I, if they can have um, they can have all this other stuff on there. This the the hot yoga. So mm -hmm. you listen. I don't. I don't know that you'll be able to hear it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. But if you listen real carefully, hold on a second. Share audio. The very beginning of this video. But is there a significant? Can you see that? Can you see that? You can see yep. that, right? All right. If you listen closely, hopefully the volume works. Yeah, she likes the word damn it a lot. Just saying, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. <laughs> You're going to kill you one of these days. It's quite possible. I try to sleep with one eye open. 
Um, but most nights it's not possible. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. I do. I do have a lock on the door down here. So if I if I feel threatened, I can come down here, lock the door down here. And oh, you her. don't dare to lock that door. She will break it. Oh. Let Let me tell you, as a as a fellow Southern woman, <laughs> you're not oh. safe. You're not safe at all. Oh. Well, if I lock myself in this room, that means I leave the um, nine mil upstairs. It means I'm really not safe. So yeah, we close the we door don't for leave. me, and shouldn't you do that because I kicked the door open. We we don't need to use a gun. <laughs> There's a reason why Southern women have cast iron skillets. Just saying. So out of the room. What the hell? I don't know. I'm a southern, but I can be crazy. Yep. Oh, well, your your name does start with crazy. <laughs> Just saying, you know, that's how we met. You know, crazy man. You know. Mm -hmm. Purple hair. Purple hair. Definitely, mm -hmm. you know, definitely not. You know, definitely not normal. Purple hair. I wouldn't say. Is and you thought it was blue because it was colorblind. Well, because I'm colorblind. Yeah, right. Yeah. So blue is <laughs> more normal than purple, right? Why? Talk know. to you later, Samantha. Have okay, a good night, you, Samantha. Hope everything is okay. <laughs> I guess it was a little one or a big one. I don't know. What? So what else are you going to do? What else am I going to do? I, I, I don't feel like I'm really going to do anything else. Mm -hmm. No. No, I think that's. Um, I wanted to send some of these um, candies that a girl that um, bought a car from me gave to me. And they're different flavored candies. This particular one, let's see if I open this up. You really can't tell, right? Looks un, uh, unassuming. But it actually, I want to say, see what it says on the wrapper here. See if that focuses on that. Soft candy with a. Mastic, mastic flavor. Yeah, what is a mastic, mastic? It tastes like pine needles. Okay. And she told me that when she they had three of these in there. I want to send one to Stai, just because I know he's done like pine needle tea and things like that. Or pine. But when you're having your candy, you don't want to taste like pine needles. <laughs> hey, Phil, in your personal opinion, do you think drinking any kind of alcoholic beverage before a challenge is worse or better for it, or will it cause worse pain? Before a challenge, I don't think you should have anything liquid in your stomach personal opinion um i've done it early on and i paid for it uh, if you go to my video that i tried to do two tubes of terror and i told satan that video ended quickly i'd had probably about three or four beers and then had two or three pieces of pizza and i thought you know the beers the pizza i was well prepped I ate the tuba terror nuts in about three minutes, and about four minutes after eating that, um, the cramps were such that I could not go on. I couldn't even com complete get through the whole afterburn and everything like that. And of course, I was out on the front porch, downing a half a gallon of ice cream. So, my recommendation, if you're doing a spicy challenge, stick with the banana, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, the Pepto, those types of things. Have something in your stomach. Have your stomach be about 
half or three quarters of the way full, my personal opinion. Even if you got to do a challenge that's, you know, half a pound, like the Moab or any of those things, you can always get stuff, st extra stuff in your stomach with that, but it's going to minimize. And then, again, I always, lately I've been um, doing the Greek yogurt and stuff afterwards, um, some milk, and then flip over to water. For me, it seems like the longer I can keep my stomach full and water will help, the minimal the cramps can be. I can start to get really, really super hard cramps, and I can drink another four to six ounces of water, and they will subside for the next five minutes or so until that starts to be absorbed into my body or you know through my system. So, but uh, well, I experienced very bad cramps on the 3.0 as well. Yeah, the, the Death Nut 3.0 is, I mean, you got 16 million scovels on those final nuts, and those final nuts are meant for two people. So if you did the whole thing, um, yeah, that is that is, that is a, that is a tough, tough, tough challenge for a single person to do. And, again, hotter than anything they put out other than, well, even I would think those final nuts are hotter than the Tube of Terror nuts because the Tube of Terror nuts have only have 13 million uh, capsaicin crystals on them, so. But those crystals are not water reactive. They're ethanol and alcohol reactive. So by having that alcoholic liquid in your stomach as well, you've basically set yourself ablaze. It's like putting gasoline on a fire. Yeah. Well, how, what did Ojasan did that one night? He took the final nuts on the 2.0. And then took and then, a shot of whiskey or bourbon, and he was down for the count. Yeah. So, tuna says milk cramps can be tough, though. You know, you I again, I've never gotten any milk cramps. I think if you, I think if you have problems with milk, obviously you shouldn't be doing uh shouldn't be doing milk. And I I, I moved over to the uh, the Greek yogurt from the ice cream because I used to sit here and just eat spoonfuls of ice cream after a challenge and although it tasted good um the yogurt's probably better for me and i don't have to, and it's um and it works so yeah i didn't know that chemical reaction thing you were talking about cindy yeah I, the only reason i knew about that was because johnny scoville was talking about the capsaicin crystals and he actually put tincture on top of it to make it that much hotter and and i'm like oh so this explains a lot so yeah yeah i mean if that's if that's um yeah if that's something you've seen see i haven't i don't watch everything he does but if that yeah that well oji san did it enough to where i thought well after he had to endure that only after eating just the nuts and doing whiskey i thought well I wouldn't do any whiskey or anything. I, that one, one of the last challenges I did, I think it was um, the the sunflower seeds, uh, solar flare. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't feeling too bad after drinking my glass of milk, so I moved on to a um, barrel aged beer, and I did just fine. I did just fine. Wasn't one of those ones that even you know hours later woke me up in the middle of the night. So, well, me personally, I wouldn't try it. But, you know, there's always somebody that could take like a death nut and try it just by itself, follow it with a little bit of water and then try it with a little bit of alcohol or a tincture drop on it to see if it's hotter. I won't because like I said, yeah. I'm not putting Johnny's nuts in my mouth. Yeah, I would but see, but see, in order to do that, to get the right effect. I would think you'd have to have like a tube of terror nut on an empty stomach. And I'm not going to put a tube of terror nut, nut on an empty stomach, not even one. Because that, you know, that's a recipe to me for disaster. And again, might I be able to get through one? No problem. Sure, sure. I uh, don't want to find out. I don't I don't like the cramps. I know I, I don't want to do a big challenge. I'm going to have the cramps and I plan ahead for all of that stuff. 
but uh, I don't like them, you know. So. Yeah, I've tried some of the dust, and yep, nope, not gonna happen. Now, see the the dust, that kind of stuff. I'm better with. I'm better with, like even the chocolate stuff. Even though Nemesis, you know, was one of my worst ones. A uh, chili cherry nightmare will get me later on in the day, um, but like doing the um, the bites challenge, doing that the chocolates, it's it's when you add capsaicin crystals or you add an extract to something that really something that's not natural. Yeah, that really affects me on these challenges. So. Yeah, when we started everything, I I ended up getting the. Uh, Mad Dog One Million, and I have it still sitting over here after, after making my own tinctures and stuff. And I was sitting there thinking the other day, you know, I actually could put that out there to, to the tour uh, a groundhog, that is over in the neighbor's yard from going under one of my buildings. I'm like, I could use it for that. So you, we had to figure out: do groundhogs have heat receptors? Well, that's one of the ingredients in groundhog repellent capsaicin extract. So. Well, there you go. So if, it, I, well, if that does, they must have some kind of heat receptors or something that is a deterrent for them. So. Yep. And that's about the only thing I can think that extract is good for. Yeah, because I, like I said, I've had the right hand of doom. I've done that lethal injection. I, everything I do with extract is just yeah. bad news. Yep. Bad, bad news. So, well, Listen, I'm not going to hold anybody hostage any longer. Uh, we're two hours in. Uh, it is 9.37. So I am going to thank everyone that came up on my panel tonight, especially the two ladies that stuck with me the longest, Crazy Ann and Cindy. Everyone out in the chat, I do appreciate you guys all showing up tonight. Those of you that super chatted, I appreciate it. Those of you who showed up and supported the channel, I also appreciate it. So, I love you guys. Keep it spicy. Keep it spicy. Stay warning.